Spencer. Growing up, I naively thought that love was about some romanticized variation of finding your soulmate, two pieces fitting perfectly together and living happily ever after, or something like that. But what you've taught me is so much better. If we've learned anything in the past five years, or helped this last week, <laughs> um, life and love is anything but perfect. And you've shown me that a soulmate isn't somebody who completes you, but rather someone who inspires you to complete yourself. Someone who loves you with so much conviction that it's nearly impossible to doubt just how capable you are of becoming the best version of you. Lauren, writing these vows as I spread cedar chips and wait in line for my COVID test. I struggled to find words that say how much you really mean to me. You're the perfect combination of adventurous yet grounded, and you check every box that I could dream of for a life partner. From throwing on a pair of waders to go fishing, or clean muck from a land or home lake, to dressing up for a West Hills cocktail party, you do it all with excitement and a smile. You're a beautiful, kind, empathetic, supportive, and hardworking. Only you could plan a wedding three times in nine months with a full-time job, <laughs> attend school during a pandemic with historic wildfires, all with only a few minor meltdowns. <laughs> we have had some highs and some lows in our relationship so far but it's the days that we have shared in between that make, make this life with you so special. My favorite part of every day is walking through the front door and seeing your great big smile and your arms open for a hug. I promise to make you laugh when you, you are taking yourself too seriously. I promise to water your plants when you're away. <laughs> I promise to make fun of you when you spill food on your shirt. I promise to meet you where you are at in times of stress. I promise to take the dog for a walk when you're too tired. I promise to encourage you to, take, to step outside of your comfort zone and to continue to grow with you. I promise to love you for who you are on this day and forever. I love you, Lauren, and I cannot wait to call you my wife. Love is messy. Sometimes we're not the best versions of ourselves, and sometimes the world just needs to burn a little before it can grow. But love is also the greatest gift that you've given me. Spencer, you are both my safe space and my biggest adventure all rolled into one. I promise to remember to hear all of the small ways that you show your love like keeping the coffee machine clean or building that one thing that can help make that other thing function just slightly better than before. <laughs> I promise to give you the space that you need to be your own person and support your happiness and being your truest, best version of yourself. And lastly, a lesson that I learned best from you. I promise to spend a lifetime of being intentionally curious about your world and never stop learning about you. I'm honored to take you here today as you are, as my husband. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church and the great evergreen state of Washington, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Daly.